left field, and the Red Sox are winners! Manny Ramirez with an absolute rocket into the Boston night, and the Red Sox lead the series two games to none. The at-bat the Red Sox have looked for all night to make them pay for walking Big Poppy, and on the fourth time, Ramirez delivers. Manny Ramirez has been doing this for a whole lot of years, and that was a no-doubter. As soon as it left the bat, you knew it was gone, putting the Red Sox up two to nothing. It's almost one o'clock in the morning in Boston, and nobody's left. As Manny Ramirez sent one completely out of Fenway over the monster seats off one of the greatest closers in the game. Well, here's the guy in Rodriguez that has one of the best curveballs in the game, but he tried to sneak one fastball by Ramirez on the inner portion. And that's where it wound up. How's that oblique doing right now for Manny, huh? <laughs> I would say it's just fine. <laughs> The Red Sox win it six to three, and they take a 2-0 lead. Here is Josh Beckett. Darko becomes the first strikeout victim for Josh Beckett. We are tied 1-1 after one. The 2-2. Got him with it again. John Lester in game four. Blake strikes out. That is three on the night for Beckett. And David Ortiz scored all the way from first base on the ball. Now Sizemore strikes out, and that's four strikeouts. And he has him tied in knots. It's 3-2 pitch to Gutierrez. Got him looking. Strikeout number six. Another strikeout for Beckett, number seven on the night. We play here in the bottom of the sixth. One-two pitch. Breaking ball strikes him out looking. And another strikeout for Beckett. Lofton is running. And strike three called at the plate. On the inside corner, that strikeout number 11. season filled with frustration both for him and these fans here at Fenway. They love to pick on 
in that Red Sox clubhouse Dustin Pedroia has just opened up a three run lead for Boston to their second World Series in his four years as manager here. Blake into right center field. Chris back to his left still going and the Red Sox win the pennant. MVP in game five in Cleveland to get the series back here to Boston. There are the regular season numbers. The major league's only 20 game winner. Ten. On the outside corner. Two up. He did. Alton commit with the right leg. Curveball flopping in there. Four strikeouts to start his night. A blister situation on the middle finger of his pitching hand. Pop strikes out. And a shattered bat. One hop to Julio Lugo. Down in the low 200s, they don't fare well. And loss is just 226. A pop up for Lugo. And a 1 2 3 inning. Second of the night for Beckett. Bottom of the third inning at Fenway. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. There it is. The curveball two out. So all of those fastballs. Here comes the curve. To get Atkins way out in front. Seven strikeouts. Breaking ball has him looking at strike three. That's eight strikeouts for Beckett. Runner goes and a little fly ball. Shallow right center field. Pedroy is there and the inning is over. Even if you don't bring him back on short rest in the fourth game. What a pick by Pedroia. And an easy 4-6-3 double play after it. Holiday scorched it. And the rookie Pedroia with a backhanded stop. Atkins flies one into right. Drew drifts back and now into in the inning. Two hits, a double play mixed in. And he strikes out his ninth of the night, getting hot to start the seventh. Little fly ball into center for Chris. Seven strong from Josh Beckett. Lead runner is David Ortiz, who does not run well at all. Line drive and the left will put Boston out in front. Mike Lowell has delivered. Ortiz scores. It's two to one Red Sox. Uh, he threw the 2 0 slider. And fool Lowell. But he took one more dip in there and no fooling the veteran hitter. Over the outside part of the plate, you see the spin on the slider. And Lowell puts the Red Sox ahead. And may have knocked out Jimenez in the fifth. That's it. The last pitch from Ubaldo Jimenez, the 23-year-old. A slider that stayed up. And here's Daisuke Matsuzaka. One and one record, a big ERA during the postseason. 3-2 pitch to Lewitsky. Strikes out and slams the bat down one away. The 27-year-old waits and grounds one back to Matsuzaka. He's got Matsui hung up. And in the rundown, tagged out by Lowell. 
And a ground ball left side for Lowell. He'll go to second to force out 5-4. Each side had a shot. Hop strikes out again. So they went to that approach, and it's made a difference. Sullivan grounds to short. Lugo handcuffed a bit, but feeds Pedroia. Fooled on that pitch and strikeout number three. Waiting for it to happen here in the World Series. And Matsui strikes out. Four on the night for Matsuzaka. Broken back, ground ball to Lugo. And a stretch by Ortiz, keeps his foot on the bat. 3-2 pitch, breaking ball for strike three. Even when they have a big lead. Hop pops it up. Left center field behind the shortstop position, and Lugo goes out a mile to get it, and the inning is over. And Tulowitzki off balance, pops it up. The Rockies have another chance. They do nothing with it. This game goes into the sixth inning. The Rockies have stranded five, and the Red Sox lead by six. Lowell hits one into left field. Back at the wall, Mike Lowell has made it three-nothing Red Sox. Aaron Cook still out there, and Lowell is two out of three against him tonight. His second home run of this postseason, and he has made it three nothing in the seventh. Way out into left, Aaron Cook, taken out of the game by his manager Clint Hurdle. Game over, series over, and the Red Sox are world champs again. And so the Boston Red Sox, as they did in 2004, celebrate a world championship on the road. They did it in St. Louis then. They do it in Denver, Colorado tonight. And with home field advantage in the series, with these two four-game sweeps under Francona, the one downside is they have not been able to celebrate with their fans as they win the World Series again on the road. And they did it in different styles. They won two blowouts, and they won two one-run games. Seth Smith and the Red Sox are world champions. And Jonathan Papelbon finishes off a tremendous postseason ten and two thirds innings pitched no runs allowed and the celebration from one of the eight homegrown players on this World Series roster for the Red Sox with Jason Veritek leaping into his arms. The seventh championship in Red Sox history.